you can see this is the before and after photos of a uh, patient that came in with aligners. And oftentimes you think, well, aligners are great because it's easier to um, brush and easier to clean the teeth. However, what we know about the aligners is, of course, those attachments can be very tricky. And depending on how long the patient is in the aligner for, sometimes, you know, it, they need to be in the aligner for a week, two weeks, that bacteria can really thrive and multiply very quickly on those aligners. And if you're not cleaning those aligners throughout the day, of course, this is what happens. Um, you can see also from those attachments, little pinholes that can happen like on these canines. So that is essential to be having the conversation with our patient as well. So this is really where I would pull in the importance of a varnish on all patients when I'm disclosing if they have uh, moderate um, levels of biofilm, if they've had active decay, if they're considered high risk when we look at their camber score, this is where we're going to be recommending the varnish treatment. Um, DMG does have the color shield. The great thing about the color shield varnish is it does have 22,600 parts per million of the fluoride and it has xylitol in the fluoride as well. Um, great taste with it, everything from watermelon to bubble gum, mint cookie dough and caramel. Who doesn't love those options? Wish I had those when I was a child. But this is also very important when after we're scaling areas, after we're debriding areas, but of course in our overall high risk patients. So I do believe that we should be thinking not just fluoride for kids when they're chair side, but really looking at their risk and recommending accordingly.